Got my nine. Back at it, shorty. Back at it. Happy DC morning, homie. Happy DC morning. I was talking to someone this, today about Modern Warfare 2. And they asked me, did I play Deathmatch? And I was like, no, nah, I don't play Deathmatch, but I played the other one. And I'm all Deathmatched out. So we started talking about the guns on there. So, you know, I'm going to make a little video <clears throat> because we're talking about the automatic shotgun on there. And he brought up, he also brought up uh, quick scoping. <laughs> so we was laughing a little bit. But automatic shotguns, right? You know, you could get them for home defense and whatnot. But it's not so simple as just going to buy one and having it and just pointing and shooting it, pop, 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 you know, when you need it. You know, uh, it, it's some decisions that you're going to make when you go to purchase one and you don't want to, you know, make a wrong decision or be uncomfortable with your with your purchase. So this is just a basic, basic video that's going to cover, uh, I believe, like three topics, <clears throat> three topics when it comes to purchasing a, a shotgun for home defense, you know, home defense. Not for retribution out in the street, you know? <laughs> Remember, if you use one, most likely the police going to come. The police going to come, and they're going to hold you for questioning. They may even take you downtown. If they take you downtown, remember, you want to come back home as soon as possible. You don't want to stay down there for a long time, you know? So that comes into making decisions about using any weapon actually you know but uh, anyway all right the first topic is going to be very simple some automatic shotguns are made a little different you know some of them are made a little different some will have a pump but these are two different um semi-automatics this is jts bp12 this is the panzer bp12 now this is not a good I can't. I, should I go like this? Should I, should I do the video like that? Now let's keep it like this. Keep it like this. Okay. So, right on the onset, you have a decision to make. Do you want your grip, hand grip, behind the magazine? You see what I'm saying? Is want some of them? The magazine come in the front, and you go to pick it up. The magazine's in the front. This one, the Panzer. You go to pick up, pick it up, the magazine isn't going to be in the back. You know what I mean? So that could be a little uncomfortable for you when you go to hold it. Let's say, and things never go right in situations, always prepare for the worst, right? You may go to try to pick it up and may fall over or whatever. You may It may be sitting up straight and you go to pick it up. You want to feel comfortable. You want to be comfortable with your weapon, right? So... For example, you go to pick this bad boy up, and what we got? What we got? We got the magazine back here. All right, let's put a magazine in this bad boy. Put a magazine in. All right? We go to pick it up. Look, it's like, it, you could be left-handed also, but you still have to, you know, be ready for this thing. So this magazine being behind your hand. And you may not like that. Or you may prefer that. You may prefer that. You know? But that's one thing to consider. Do you want the magazine behind the grip? Or in front? Now with this one, where the magazine is in front of the handle. Let's throw a magazine in here. You go to pick it up. I'm right-handed. You go to pick it up, you're ready to rock and roll. It can swivel. Your hand is not going to hit against, you know, uh, you know, like that. It's not going to hit against the magazine. So, again, decision. Do you want the magazine in front of the pistol, grip, or behind it? Okay? All right. Second decision you're going to make, again, very basic, very basic video, you know, how you want the charging handle the different types of charging handles to pull back the bolt you have see how you pull this back you want to pull it back the charging handle like this or ar style i guess they say you got it right here you see what i'm saying 
to pull the boat back. Different types. Different types. So you got decisions to make. All right? Which one you're going to be comfortable with? No grip for the hand here. Grip for the hand here. You could grip this bad boy more, you know, a more pronounced grip, I should say. There's a grip, right? No grip here. You're not going to burn yourself or nothing. There's a grip, I should say, but no pronounced grip with the JTS, okay? So that's two subjects. The third subject is what type of round you're going to use, you know? What type of round you're going to use? Not like in Modern Warfare, you just pick it up and just start shooting. When you go to, let's say, the gun store or Dick's Sporting Goods, uh, Walmart, you're going to see a whole bunch of bullets up on that wall. You're going to be like, what kind of bullet should I use? I say keep everything simple. So that's another decision you got to make when you're purchasing not only just a shotgun, just a regular handgun too, you know? What type, I say take, buy, in any situation you get into, normal, you know, you ain't trying to take on a SWAT team or anything, are you? No, you're trying to come back home if you get into a situation after the police question you and come back to your life, you know? You ain't trying to go, <laughs> if you going up against a SWAT team, you ain't coming home no time soon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, a, a, a decision you got to make is what type of round you're going to use. What, what type of round we're using? You know, you have, you have, with the shotguns, you have bird shot. They are like BBs, a little small, you know, like a BB gun. BB gun had them little tiny uh, balls, little small balls that shoot out. Then you have buckshot, which are ball bearings. They're a little bigger. They're ball bearings. And then you have slugs. Slugs is like a big piece of, a big bullet that the shotgun shoot out. Like instead of ball bearings inside of here, it'll be a, a big piece of metal, a bullet that'll shoot out, boom, you know? That slug, I prefer not to use because um, the slug, it will require a little bit more aiming, you know, a little bit more aiming. See these, these, these actually you can have like a, a aiming sight on top. I'm not aiming nothing when I'm busting this bad boy. I don't need to aim nothing. But you may prefer to use a slug. The slug, it could travel more. I'm not trying to have a slug go through a wall and bust my neighbor's fish tank, hit her bird cage or his bird cage or whatever, or shoot their puppy. You know what I'm saying? So anything I come up against, I'm not going to need a slug, I believe. You know, I like buckshot or the regular old bird shot. So you have to think about what type of ammunition you're going to use. Buckshot, you're going to blow stuff down, no problem. Birdshot, you're still going to bust stuff down, normal home defense, you know? Then it's also how fast the round leaves the shotgun. They have ones that's more, they have some that are more powerful than others. Keep it simple. When you purchase your, your shotgun or any weapon, really, Usually, it comes for standard use, standard use rounds, standard use bullets. Some of them, some of bullets go faster than others. You don't need no super fast, they say high velocity rounds. You don't need that. As it comes out the box, regular homeboy, Charm City, Baltimore protection, use that. Don't just get this when you go to whatever Walmart, Bob's, uh, um, you know, uh, <clears throat> Bass Pro Shop, the gun store. They're like, I want standard rounds, and tell the the man or whatever what you want. You just tell them you want the standard rounds. You don't need nothing, cause cause when you get into the higher rounds, you're actually supposed to change stuff within the gun. You're supposed to change like the choke, the 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 ring. They have a little ring in here. Um, I may be able to. Uh, this this camera, I'm not real good at this camera, but it should be. Sometimes you can shake it and uh, it'll move around. And move around. Oh, is that it? Well, so you, you open up the gun and you gotta change the ring. You get to open up the gun to clean it, right? When you go to the range and all that. But you gotta take the right now. Have the standard the standard velocity ring in inside. 
Just keep that. Keep the way it comes out the box. Keep that. You don't have to change the ring and get higher, stronger bullets. You don't need all that. You don't need all that. You don't need all that. Again, you don't want your bullets flying into the neighbor's freaking wall and, you know, just, you know, you want to take care of what's in front of you, you know? So, again, there's, there's three basic uh, three basic subjects. Do you want the magazine behind the pistol grip? Or do you want the magazine in front? You see what I'm saying? What type of round you're going to use. All right. And I can't remember the, the third one. But anyway, just some, uh, oh, you also have cheek rests. You know, I, I, I don't, I'm not going to use a cheek rest. I'm not going to use a cheek rest. This one, this uh, Panzer come with a cheek rest. You can rest your cheek on it. You know, this one over here, this one does not have a cheek rest. Okay? So you want to look at all that kind of stuff and consider the, the, the bolt, pulling the bolt back, AR style. Or do you want to pull the bolt back with the charging handle? Like, you know, this way. You know, pulling it back. Alright, so just some three basic options there real quick before you purchase uh, a shotgun. You know, because it's not like on Modern Warfare 2, you just pick that bad boy up and start busting. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Alright. And you want to be comfy. You want to be comfy with your purchase. Alright. So I guess that's it. That's it. Oh, that's another thing. Do you want a drum? As in, as, as to also purchasing just the regular straight magazines. You know? You want your multiple round magazine, your, your regular magazine. Do you want the big drum? The big drum, again, if it's back here, is it puffs out. It puffs out. If you get the shotgun to have the the magazine behind the pistol grip remember again when you go to pick it up it's gonna be kind of weird or even if you on this side or or you're left-handed it's still gonna be puffing against your body the drum if the drum is in front on this weapon is a little bit better because all your swivel action against your body is back here you know so it's a little bit easier to, to put a drum onto this one get a drum for this one you see what i mean so Different types of magazines, which one you're going to use. That's a little bit of stuff to think about when, you, uh, when you're purchasing home defense, charm city, basic homeboy defense or homegirl. Okay? And that's about it for the video, shorty. Got my nine. See y'all out there. See y'all out there.